According to stats, Londoners eat the most amount of curry compared to anywhere else in the rest of the country. The average Londoner has a curry a week and about 10% of Londoners have up to three a week. Well, I'm here at the Bengal Tiger that just won an Arta Award for the best regional restaurant in the city of East London. I'm going to talk to the chefs, the staff and the man behind the awards as to why this is such a great place to eat in the capital. First of all, I'd like to thank to our customers who supported us. Um, that was the main thing. We received the award, otherwise we, we wouldn't achieve that. Described as the Oscars of the curry world, picking up a gong from the Arters is not to be sniffed at. And for the Bengal Tiger being given the crown of best restaurant in the city and East London, with Brick Lane just around the corner, that's some accolade. Thank you very much, everyone. And this, this was after two years of COVID, and the turnout was fantastic. We had businesses turn up from Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Northwest, Southwest, every corner of the country. And the amazing thing about Arta is the participants are nominated by the general restaurant goers, the food lovers. And like we are here today at Bengal Tigers, they didn't even realize they had nomination from their customers and that's how they got involved. And I think it's the customers who comes to their local favorite are the ones who make, make this happen. I mean, there are some very good restaurants in every city centers, but not every general public are able to go there. And it's the local businesses that they go on a regular basis are the one, their favorite. And these are the restaurants needs to do well to serve the local community. There are quite literally thousands of Indian restaurants in London just alone. What is it that you guys do, do you reckon, that got you a certificate of excellence for what you do here? You see, um, first of all, like, is how you welcome the customers mm. and how you service them. Yeah. And then obviously food comes second because customers don't come and trace, taste your food straight away. Mm. They see your presentation, then they try the food. So that's first, and second of all, our food is always is, is spot on. Because, for example, if you have a dish today, like chicken tikka masala, and if you have it after an hour or tomorrow, come and have it tomorrow, the taste, the color, it will be exact same. Because a lot of time you see one, if the chef cooks one dish and they cook the same dish again, it changes slightly. So in hours, it doesn't, that, that doesn't happen. This is Abdul, he's the head chef here at Bengal Tigers. There's, there's a hell of a lot here to go through. Luckily, I am very hungry, Abdul. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, it's my pleasure. So these are all very classic Indian yeah. starters, but you know, they're award winning. So what did you do just to make them so much better than your average Indian restaurant? My intention is to produce the good out of the bird. So I use my experience to produce the fresh stuff, fresh ingredients, which is a lot of ingredients has their own quality. So I always pick the quality stuff and the quality spices. Sounds delicious, particularly with those sauces. I'm talking with a mouthful, but I'm not sure if there's another way. Abdul, this award, tell us a little bit about how pleased you were with it. That must be pretty, pretty good feeling, knowing that you're cooking out win the award. This award means a lot mm. because at least it's, uh, this award is showing the people I, I achieved something. Yeah. Something good about this restaurant, that's, that's why they get the award for it. So yeah. hopefully food or the service, food has to be main priorities. Onion bhaji. Yeah. Onion bhaji is a difficult one because often yeah. they can be stodgy, can't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can crack it and see up inside this is with a deeper as well. Mm. Two whopping on your bargies in the middle, all stodgy and yeah. flowery, but that's crispy all the way through. How many chefs do you have? I have another three chef underneath. Oh, three so chefs. I'm the head chef. Are you a polite head chef or are you like Gordon Ramsay? I, no, I'm not Gordon Ramsay <laughs> type, but I, I wanted to run the show, so I have yeah. to do how am I going to do. This is my take. 
especially if you have to control the people and sub best out of yeah. everybody. You know, when you are really busy, it's yeah, tough. Yeah. And we are in a cost of living crisis at the moment. A lot of businesses are struggling and our sector struggle even more. How important is it that your kind of awards can shed a light on the importance of keeping these places you know, going? Very important. I mean, the government have come up with the energy price cap, which is a positive, it's a way forward. If they hadn't done this, many restaurants would have literally closed down. During COVID, we've seen at least 15 to 20% of the businesses on our platform, they literally disappeared for good. They are no longer there. The energy crisis was falling in the same direction. Yeah. Some of the businesses are probably not, not even making um, a grand a month, whereas the energy bill has tripled. So it was very important for the government to recognize this, but I think they need to do more because these local restaurants are it's the hub of the community. And if you think about it, there are more Asian, South Asian restaurants in the country, high street, than the post of it themselves. I love a green chili, but is that a silly thing to do on camera? Let's see. This is chicken's probably cooked as well. Well, actually, it's going down very well. So they do represent a, you know, a, and, 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 the, the, and these restaurants are part of the community, every corner of the country, and the government need to and must help them as much as they can, especially with staff crisis. They need to make life easier. You know, how do they fill that shortfall, the gap in? And the crisis like the energy crisis, and during COVID, the government has helped, you know, and it has kept many businesses alive. And they are now coming back, and they, you know, and they are able to start serving the community again. You know. Which one's the most popular dish? Here is uh, people got different tastes. People have, uh, any people have want to spicy, they go for jalfrazi, mm -hmm. and if the medium or they want something new, they go for the malaba, king from Bashabab or the Iran. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Abdul. That was absolutely delicious, and we got so much left. People at home, don't worry, this will all get eaten. Nothing will go to waste, particularly with Tom there behind the camera. This was my experience of the Bengal Tiger Curry House, and it was quite a delicious one. I want to thank all the staff for being so welcoming to us and giving us so much food. It was all so delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us on all our social media channels and support your local Indian takeaway or indeed your local restaurants because they need it right now.